Hello and welcome to It's Koozie Here. I'm Chanel Benjamin. Here is the baby. I had her. It's been uh, about seven weeks and I have not done a video, but I have to share this video. I have to let you guys know what is going on. I feel like I should rename my channel like Mommy Lifestyle. Like I'm going to hook you up with some information. <laughs> I had little Rada and her name means night star leader um shining bright i love her name it was given to my dad um in a dream i had never heard this name before and i looked it up and i just absolutely loved the meaning and i really feel like god named her um i had prayed i didn't want to name her on regular name but i also didn't want like a weird like let's call her grape you know <laughs> and um Anyways, let's jump right into the video. So I decided that I wanted to breastfeed and that journey took a whole other turn. And so um, a little background, I have three boys and the other ones, um, I breastfed my first one for about six months and then I got mastitis. Second one for a week got mastitis. And then the third one, um, my husband and my doctor suggested, you know, just give formula, which I did. Um, with Rada, I felt like five years had passed and I've been on some products and I've been on them for almost about, geez, almost six years now. And these products also help me, um, get pregnant naturally. We had a lot of, um, infertility problems. Um, but as soon as my husband started their men's product, you know, we just, we got so blessed. And so, um, I have some friends who, they breastfed and they were running low on supply and one of the products is called rhythm and I take that um and I had planned on taking it after I gave birth just to balance my hormones so it balances your hormones um and this there's no drugs in it so it's all natural herbs um non-gmo organic um it's the best products um on the market that I find and practically not too many people know about them yet but we are definitely trying to get the word out there but anyways so I had friends that had no milk supply and then they got their milk supply and they were raving about it so I was like you know what I'm gonna try to breastfeed because I'm gonna have these products and this is gonna make it possible for me to do this so that was really not the issue the issue was the latch it hurt so bad so I got nipple shields I had a bag full of everything, um, but right now, little baby's laying on me, but I, if I can get up or add it to the video, or I'll do another video, and I'll talk about it, but I just had to get this out there for you guys, because I feel like I didn't know. I've ha I have had, this is my fourth baby, and I did not know, um, so nipple shields was one. Um, I did a little bit of research. The longer you stay on nipple shields, um, the study was that the baby can get um uh like the milk comes in slower and so your supply is low so they found in the study that your supply could be low with long-term use of nipple shields along with um mastitis like you are at higher risk for mastitis and oh my gosh i need to make another video about that too because um, my body was trying to get mastitis. I think my body already knows like if I get stressed, we're going to give you mastitis, but we have this one product and I started taking it and it was amazing. Sorry. My son is going to come out here. Give me one second. Okay. Ian, why did you kick his face? It was an accident. Okay. they're playing a game that they got and I guess they're all trying to figure it out. It sounds like they're going to figure it out. I think. Nope. Wait, they're laughing. I think they're okay. Okay. This is real life guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, what was I saying? Anyways, yes, I was getting mastitis. We'll talk about that in another video. Anyways, so nipple shields. Then I ordered um, the Silverettes. They were like $60, $70. 
and they actually helped a lot. So in the beginning, like those first week to like three weeks, I kept putting on my bra and every time I would like take it off, I felt like I was ripping off like my boob. It just hurts so bad because my nipples were like sore or something. It was just so weird. So I bought those and between the nipple shields and the um, silverettes, I was like, oh, I can do this, you know, but um, I just noticed that I was feeding her every hour on the hour and I wasn't sleeping and I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot do this. Like, and I think it was that my supply was low. How do we get our supply up? Lots of water, um, carbohydrates, um, you know, wake up, eat breakfast, make sure every time you pump, you're drinking, drinking, drinking. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. So the silverettes. After I got the silverettes, um, I started to wean her off of the nipple shield. So I would, every other feed, I would take off the nipple shield to where the nipple shield was off. But my breasts, they were, like my nipples, they were hurting. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I started getting stressed out. And then I couldn't keep up with her um, feeds because of my boobs, you know, you get tired. Those of you that are breastfeeding know what I'm talking about. So, um, after realizing, okay, oh my gosh, this is painful. I did start noticing that on different sides, I was getting more milk and then I was losing milk. So I got a Haka, H-A-A-K-A, -A -A, the ladybug, and I would put it on and I started getting milk and I was like, oh my gosh. So I got Dr. Brown's bottles, level one, and I did not know this, which so many of you need to know this because I bet you are going crazy that your baby is just taking so many ounces and you like maybe an hour, an hour and a half goes by and the baby's hungry again. And you're like, what is going on? I just gave that baby three ounces, four ounces. I don't get it. So this Dr. Brown's bottle is a level one when you buy them normally, unless you buy a different size um, that comes with it. So I did not know this. So I started putting the milk inside of the Hakka and breastfeeding. And then I really was tired. And my husband said, hey, you've got a pump, right? That they sent you. We're military. Um, the insurance gave us one. And this is the one here. This is the Spectra. I think it's the two. And it helped me so much because there is a massaging button on this. So let me show you real quick. When you turn it on, that 70 is a massaging. And then you can do three, two, and then four. It goes all the way up to five. I don't think you could see that. So you turn it on. And that 70, I don't know if you can see it, that 70 um, is what you would use to pump in a massaging type of way. So this massage is not like pulling and sucking on your boob, it's a massage. And so my milk just started coming out like really naturally and I was like, oh my goodness. And so I was able to get maybe, gosh, like the majority of her feedings with the massaging pump. But I started realizing I could not keep up with her. So she started screaming and crying in between the feeds. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, what am I doing wrong? Well, let me tell you what happened a couple of days ago. My husband was like, let's try and buy a different flow. And so we bought size one and then we looked on the bottles and realized it already came with a size one. Well, on the side of the box, which I don't have with me right now, on the side of the box, it said um, that there was a preemie level. What? There's a preemie level. So he went out at 1030 at night to Walmart, got off work, bought that, brought it to me. Y'all, she had two ounces, two and a half ounces, and she was good. No screaming, no gas, no colic, no nothing. And I was like, are you kidding me? That was it. So this has been the ultimate journey of breastfeeding. And I feel like I should make a whole other like channel or something. Because I know a lot of you are here for the decor. But maybe the title on this, like maybe you're just watching this because it was the um, title that got you. 
but um I may just update my channel to like mommy gems because I really do have some like mommy gems like I have three boys I have two bonus children I am a grandmother and I am now got a little baby and so I just have so much advice and so many things I mean just because it works for me doesn't mean it will work for you um, but it might help you like this video could be everything and more you must be like oh my gosh I didn't know I could use nipple shields oh my gosh I didn't know I could use the silverettes to like help heal my breasts especially if you are um, getting cracks and um, bleeding nipples things like that this will um, protect you um, you know especially with that if you are if your boobs are like sticking to your bras and stuff like that um, and I so now I she's seven weeks old I am pumping the majority um, probably once or twice a day I will bring her to the breast and she will um, empty me out I do still get like knots and things like that like a clogged duct or something but I mean I know it's there so I'll just let her empty it out really quick but this journey has been intense um, and here's another thing um, magnesium I I it's called mighty magnesium I'll um I'll put a picture here like right here so you can see it but this stuff is amazing it helps with back pain it also is great for um pregnancy lactation it says it right there on and i take 100 milligrams a day you could take up to 400 um but i take 100 and then um i take my products faithfully every day and now i am pumping four ounces every two hours and that's another thing so even if milk is not coming out of your breast pump for those 10 minutes it says to pump 10 to 15 minutes and I know there's over suppliers. I know that there are people that pump for 20, 30 minutes. I just really kind of wanted my schedule to be like 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to pump and whatever I get, that's what it is. But I'm telling you that preemie nipple, I have, look at this. So I have this right now. I have all of this and then I have another bottle up on the counter and my husband got me this um, Starbucks cup and I fill it up to the top. And every time after I pump, I drink one of those. Um, also, um, tea, like make yourself some sweet tea. That works. I also got these cookies. I don't know if it's helping. Um, I usually do not eat carbs. I'm a huge protein um, veggie. I don't believe in eating carbs. I mean, hey, who doesn't want a donut or a Cinnabon? Or make cakes that's all me but mainly my diet is just meat and vegetables meat and vegetables and especially after having a baby you want to lose weight so I was kind of doing that and then I noticed my supply wasn't as great but I bought these animal crackers and I noticed in I eat rice um, and I don't eat it like all day long I'll just eat it like sporadically um, so in the morning, maybe half of a bagel instead of a whole bagel. And that's not every day. And also if your baby is fussy or like, I did not know guys, I had like a cabbage salad and she was screaming all night. So apparently like whatever you eat, um, the baby can possibly get it in the milk. So like eggs, the protein of the white, I looked it up. It's like a study. They found that the babies who are allergic to like eggs, it's more like the white um, the protein and the white of the egg. So anyways, I cut out eggs and then I tried it again. My husband was like, try the egg, just eat it. She's, it's not going to bother her. Sure enough, she was like crying all day and fussy and scrunching her legs. And I felt so bad. So, um, like I don't eat eggs. I don't eat broccoli. I don't eat cabbage. Uh, she pizza, red sauce, um, fried foods. I really try to limit it. Like I think I eat Chick-fil-A and she was like not having it really bad. Um, must have been the peanut oil. I'm guessing. Um, sometimes if I eat, I don't usually eat almonds, but I think my husband got me like an almond joy and I want to say it could have been the chocolate, but I want to blame the almonds. So, um, I try and stay away from almonds as much as possible because they have high, um, I believe, uh, lectins or oxalates. I can't remember which one, but I know a lot about health. I've studied, I read journals, um, pub, uh, was it pubmed.org is really good. Um, I listen to a lot of doctors. Um, I just, I have so much knowledge and information and 
it's hard when you're trying to breastfeed and then you have to have these carbs. So um, I know probably could eat like potatoes or um, sweet potatoes, but those are very high in oxalates and um, sweet potatoes give me like a back pain, sometimes like upper shoulder blade pain. But when I don't eat them, I have like no pain ever. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get your supply up. And I haven't studied if there's like another way to do it, but the magnesium works really good. I will put my link below for the products that I take. So I take a woman's pack and this is what it looks like here if you're interested. Um, also, you can be, if you feel like you can't afford um, the price of it every single month, which I afford, um, basically i sell stuff out of my garage um i do what i can so if i need to paint somebody's dresser i'll paint a dresser and then i'll resell it y'all i do whatever it i need to to get my products and so i'm also an affiliate for this company i've been an affiliate for like over six years and um if you want to become an affiliate sign up so that you can afford it they pay you weekly and it's a really good amount that they pay you um it's and it's not a lot to join it's i think it's i think it's 49 dollars. you get a website it's just really amazing and fantastic christian company and um dr charlie rouse is absolutely amazing he is our formulator and you guys would be blown away at this man um he is called the medicine man in albany georgia and he just has a heart of gold and he also is a baptist pastor um out there in albany georgia so he wears many hats and he is just a godly man and we have the best formulator um that you could ever imagine the best products i feel like we are the best kept secret that god blessed me with because um i'm 40 years old i'm about to be 41 years old um, I wish I had, I do have some before pictures, but I'm like aging backwards. They have a Lana Sarah Berry in the products and, um, it means long life. So, I mean, we just have, um, and glutathione is in the products, but in these products, I feel like this breastfeeding journey would just be like, and sometimes part of a woman's group. I really don't go and promote in the women's group. I don't like going in and because sometimes you're helping people and they think you just want to sell. But I'm telling you, these products, you're like, oh my gosh. Um, I had fibromyalgia, arthritis, brain fog. I mean, you name it, low energy. This, um, this company has a product line suite that tackles every single thing. Anxiety, depression, um, you name it, there is a natural. And I think we have about seven products that tackle everything. High blood pressure. It's just phenomenal. So go, if even if you don't buy anything, go educate yourself. Go to the website. Each one has a video. And I'll also link down below the website. So it's youtube.com slash modexus, M-O-D-E-X-U-S. Absolutely amazing. But I needed to make this video to help you breastfeeding mamas because I feel like I post stuff in the group. I'm like, did y'all know about a preemie? you know, nipple. And then like seven people were like, Oh yes, I knew about it. Like, dang, did, can't y'all share some information? I had no idea. These groups are so amazing because you can help people, but I feel like YouTube, like you're going to look up. I need help with breastfeeding. You know, um, how do I get my milk supply up? And I know I have a couple of men that love to watch my channel because I look at my statistics. So I'm sorry if this video was not like for you, <laughs> but I will continue to do my decor videos. I'm actually working on one now because I got a new table from Amazon, um, chairs from Amazon, a table from Target. I got a new sofa. I'm really excited about it. I'm sitting on it now. It's nice and soft. Um, I'm in the process of cleaning, reorganizing. I cannot wait to do some nice videos. Um, but look, she is just happy, sweet. She is absolutely amazing. Um, I feel like we have made it um, here. Look, she I put two and a half ounces in here. And because of the slow flow um, preemie nipple, she left me with one ounce, guys. And she is not squirmy. She's not. She is just... I feel so happy that I 
Saul that we can give them a preemie. Now, eventually I will have to go to the one, um, but I want to transition her so that way she's not gulping because just right now she's so tiny and she is getting chunky. She was born at six pounds, guys, six pounds. And then she dropped down to about five pounds. Um, she did have like some jaundice, um, but we didn't have to go under the blue light. So we have just had a really, um, gosh, it's been like a journey. And pumping every two hours is a journey in itself. Um, I don't get a lot of sleep. I should be sleeping now. Um, sometimes I'll end up taking a nap, but my husband's really great. He will take the baby um when he gets home and he's like just go to sleep and give me the bottle and i'll take care of it so probably about three or four hours i am sleeping so i hope that this video helped you i hope um that i explained enough if i didn't i will do a another video so that um i'm probably not jumping around i'll show the products um and if you have questions put it and i'll answer it in the next video maybe i'll make a line of a line of videos about me and baby and our journey and call it like mommy gems because I feel like I have so many little gems that I am finding um to help you guys on this journey and I wish I had something like this and I know there's tons of videos out there um but one more video won't won't hurt maybe this was your answer so god bless guys if you are breastfeeding mama good luck on your journey if you're pumping mama good luck on your journey and if you are formula good luck on your journey i have formula stories um trigger warnings on those um and then finding the right formula for your baby so i have been in every season every stage of you know yes i can breastfeed no i cannot breastfeed the formula worked. No, it didn't work. My baby choked on the formula. It was colicky. So many things, but I have so much knowledge about all of it that I just want to share it with you guys. Um, and I hope that it helps. So I will see you guys in the next video. The next one is going to be a decor video and it's going to be so pretty. So I am doing like some spring updates, but I'm not doing any holiday video. It's just going to be like a spring update, um, and what I've bought. So I will see you guys in the next video. All my kids are coming out now. So it was just in time. All right. Bye guys.